Okay, this is a short video I'm doing uh, that uh, practical uh, prepper or engineer 445 was talking about pumping water, pump a different solution. Uh, basically, a full pool filter is a pump, you're pumping water. And uh, this has been running now about seven years, real well. Uh, it takes care of all of our needs uh, as far as keeping the pool clean. We're up here in New Jersey. Uh, run the pool from about May 1st to uh, eh, sometimes to October 1st. Uh, this is a little heater I put in, but uh, this thing doesn't work worth a damn. Uh, but here's the hoses and bypass. And uh, if you can see it here, uh, we bought this from uh, a place in Arizona, sun pumps. Uh, takes 90 volts it's a direct DC motor and by being a direct DC motor when the Sun goes up and down it goes up and down but uh, it does a great job pumping uh, this year uh, I found two extra solar panels Chinese made on Greg's list the guy was dumping for 50 bucks a piece those are the bottom ones um, so I have extra extra capability even on cloudy days uh, the ones that I bought originally with the thing was uh, the uh, uh, sharps I think 225 uh, a piece, 25 watt a piece. Uh, they run real good. They've been running for years now. But I found I had extra uh, power left over um, that I wasn't utilizing. So I decided to do, a friend of ours gave us uh, some batteries, a whole bunch of uh, AGM batteries. And I've been doing is lining up the AGM batteries and running an inverter. Um, using this solar charger to charge the batteries and keep them charged. Here we have a ground fault interrupt system. Uh, that one, that uh, switch over there turns off the uh, pump. This one here turns off the uh, uh, charging. Uh, I found that uh, I turn off the pump quite a bit because it's cloudy days, but I want to charge the batteries up. And uh, right now I have two, four batteries hooked up. Uh, I'm probably gonna hook up some more for the winter time. And I'll take those two solar panels and mount them properly right now. They're just laying up against the wall. And basically what these do is run many different things in the pumps. Um, I have pumps for, um, I use for the pond, which we keep goldfish in. And over here we do some hydroponics. And the hydroponics, um, it runs the pump in here too at the same time too, the hydroponics. Um, and we're, we're, we're getting about two kilowatts of extra power and I'll probably use more as I come up with other things to put online. We're getting two kilowatts of extra uh, power that uh, the panels are providing the amount of use, uh, which is good. Uh, that's about two kilowatts a day uh, on a good sunny day. So we're getting about 25 to 30 kilowatts a month. Just thought I'd uh, run this uh, and uh, any questions let me know. Um, this is a good way to uh, save power. We have our extra arrays up at the top also too, 9.9 uh, .9 kilowatt system, uh, which we use. But uh, this is totally separate from the from the uh, um, grid. Uh, you can see the other systems up here, and this is totally separate from the grid. So if you're thinking about doing some solar pumping or saving some stuff, I, I estimate it saves me about $400 worth of electricity a year doing this. Uh, that's what it was costing me before here in New Jersey. And you can see the pump, the pool is clean. Uh, there's no issues keeping it clean. Okay, let's wrap it up.